Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so friends in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of 20th of september the session will be very important and interesting so do pay attention till the end also friends to all those students who are watching our video for the first time I'll suggest you all to make notes. Making notes will help you a very good habit in the long term as when you will be preparing for your exam. Just before that, these notes will be very helpful for you for the revision purpose. Also friends, yesterday I gave you some homework question and I'm watching Deepak Yadav is our person who is commenting daily. He is the one who is doing homework on daily basis. So congratulations Deepak Yadav and best of luck for your future. I am 100% sure that you will get success in your life as because you are a dedicated hard worker. Alright, if you have any queries, if you need to ask any questions, if you have any problems, you can just leave in the comment section or you can just mail us or text us on the number provided you. So no issues will help you. Alright, we are here to help you. Not just by with your curriculum, by in any means also. If, if you need any help, we are here to help you. Alright, now let's discuss some important current affairs. Just revise them and we will move on to the current affairs that, of today then. First is India's first ever GI that is your geographical tagged Kashmir carpets was flagged off to Kashmir or flagged off to Germany. Similarly, if question asked, Mithilia Makhna, this is was this product was given the GI tag recently and it is related to which state? It is related to Bihar. Then India Canada has relaunched a comprehensive economic partnership agreement. India emerged as the largest importer of arms in 2017-2021 as per the report released by SIPRI. Then India entered into the world top 5 club in terms of the market capitalization for the first time and it was ranked as 5th. Adani Group signed a deal for two power projects in Sri Lanka. And we know Adani Group has recently by ACC and Ambuja Cements. Also, they become the second largest marketplace for this. Also, uh, or you can say second largest cement company. Apart from this, you need to remember Adani Group also became the uh, or Adani become the second richest person in the world. He is just after Elon Musk. Then if we talk about Adani Group, Adani will be providing electricity 
to Bangladesh. Another thing you need to remember if we talk about Adani, Adani Group was the first organization, Adani Green, that launched a joint project of both wind and solar energy. Then India approved $1 billion line of credit that is LOC for Sri Lanka to help pay for crucial imports and now India has stated that they won't be helping any more Sri Lanka as now their talk with International Monetary Fund is coming into play. That means now Sri Lanka will be receiving the monetary help from International Monetary Fund. Another thing you need to remember friends, if a country is put onto the grey list, all right, he won't be receiving uh, that country won't be receiving any monetary help, be it from International Monetary Fund, be it from Asian Development Bank, be it from New Development Bank or any other organization or financial organization. All right. And what is grey list? It is the list in which a country is terror financing and FATF is the organization that provide puts a list or uh, put a country on grey list. And we know recently it was United Arab Emirates that was put onto the grey list of FATF. One more thing friends that I need to tell you regarding the content that we provide you. Say for example, we are providing you pocket wise PDF. We are providing you topic wise current affairs. We are providing you weekly current affairs. We are providing you monthly current affairs PDF also top 100 questions PDF. So remember pocket wise uh, pocket PDF and your topic wise PDF. They will be released on the 7th of every month. All right on the 7th then weekly they are provided to you every seven days. All right. We make sure that every seven days you are provided with weekly current affairs for monthly and top 100 questions. Remember on 10th of every month or before the 10th of every month, you will be provided with the monthly current affairs PDF. All right, friends. The important thing that I want to mention here is that we provide content in English as well as in Hindi. To all the students who are looking for the content of PDF in Hindi because I have seen many times the students are asking for Hindi PDF the content in Hindi so students for those students those who are looking for Hindi content you can check our carriers cloud application from where you can download the uh, from the Google store you can download the app and from that particular application carriers cloud application you will be able to see various courses that are offered by us and in those courses we offer you Hindi PDF along with English content also. All right. So the students, those who are aiming for Hindi content, they can definitely check our Hindi PDFs also that are provided on the courses that are offered by us on our Carriers Cloud application. Next, coming to the first news of the day, friends. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has launched national logistics policy. What will this aim will be here? It will may help us to increase the or it help us to boost the business in India. It will promote ease of doing business. Ease of doing business. What is logistics? Logistics is basically to travel or to take product from A location to B. Say A is manufacturing the product and B will be consuming the product. So the process to take this from A to B is known as logistics so let's talk about it national logistics policy that was launched at vigyan bhavan at new delhi and it was launched by prime minister narendra modi highly important all right here this will act as a single point of reference for all the logistics and trade facilitation matters nlp that is your national logistic policy with the pm gati shakti program and sagarmala sagarmala is related to waterways and bharat mala is related to roadways these schemes will be dedicated freight corridor that will be a transformational and that will be a game changing for india and this will help us to promote ease of doing business this will not just promote ease of doing business that will also help us to reduce the cost of logistics that means if a production if a company is manufacturing say some product from a location as i told you and they want to ship it or they want to use the waterways or if they are using it the waterways railways or roadways any type of transport is used this will help us to reduce the cost in that particular field or particular sector so remember prime minister narendra modi ji has launched this national logistics policy help us to improve the ease of doing business and this was launched at vigyan bhavan new delhi Another thing you need to remember regarding Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji is recently he released 8 cheetahs. Recently he released 
8 cheetahs on his birthday all right he turned 72 recently and on his birthday he released eight cheetahs these cheetahs were brought in from namibia and these eight cheetahs will be placed where they will be placed in kuno national park and where is this kuno national park this is located in the state of madhya pradesh for top for what all you need to remember here eight cheetahs eight wild cheetahs were released into the wild in kuno national park that is in madhya pradesh they were brought in from namibia all right and they were released into the wild by prime minister narendra modi and on his birthday all right here you can see prime minister narendra modi reintroduced wild cheetahs into kuno national park madhya pradesh as a part of project cheetah and here you can see the scientific name of cheetah the first world's first intercontinental large wild carnivore translocation project that is project cheetah from namibia to india eight cheetahs and in india too it will be in madhya pradesh kuno national park all right and remember among these eight cheetahs five are female and three are male next news is indian railways will be launching vande bharat 2 upgraded version of train 18 i repeat recently indian railways will be launching the upgraded version of vande bharat train that is train 18 under this vande bharat 2 from 30th of september to give the best facilities to the passengers vande bharat 2 will have better speed that will be from 0 to 100 kilometer speed in just 52 seconds and maximum speed of 180 kilometer per hour this is 100 kilometer per hour this will reduce the weight and it will be less than or it will be weighing less 329 392 tons and this will be powered by wi-fi on demand and a 32 inch lcd tvs and reclining chairs will now be installed in all the classes that is be it first class second class or third class all right so what is the news here that new version of the vande bharat train will be launched recently and this will be an upgraded version of vande bharat and here the speed will be from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 52 seconds it will have a maximum speed of 180 km per hour it will be weighing less by 392 tons it will be powered by lcd it will have your wi-fi on demand it will have reclining chairs and in all the classes that is in the first class second class and third class next news friend we are talking about kazakhstan Kazakhstan has been renamed to the capital to Astana. I repeat, recently Kazakhstan has renamed its capital to Astana. Highly important. Before moving on, let me tell you one more thing that these cheetahs, friends, all right, these were those were brought from Namibia, are marked as under the red list of the threatened species, that is of IUCN. All right. They are mentioned in the red list of IU cn mark this also and they have been named as vulnerable because we saw there were no cheetahs in india coming back kazakhstan has renamed capital to astana extend the presidential term to seven years what are we talking about here remember president of Kazakhstan have signed a constitutional amendment that will extend the nation's presidential term to seven years that was earlier five years all right remember this term that which country's presidential term has been extended from five years to seven years it is of Kyrgyzstan highly important all right and remember recently they have brought back the old name of the country's capital to Astana from their current Nurultan, all right, Nur Sultan. So, what is the capital of Kyrgyzstan now? What it has been renamed to? It has been renamed to Astana. Mark this from the current that is Nur Sultan. These changes are among the political and economic reforms announced by president after violent protest in January for killing more than 200 people. If we are talking about change of name here only, remember Kyrgyzstan has changed the capital to Astana and we saw that Rajghat or Rajpat was renamed to Kartavya Pat. 
राजपथ वॉज ऑल्सो नोन एज किंग्स वे एंड नाउ इट इज बींग नोन एज कर्तव्य पथ हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट रिमेंबर दिस चेंज ऑफ नेम All right. So we are talking about the change of name of Rajput that was renamed to Kartavyapath, and we are talking about Kyrgyzstan that was the capital of Kyrgyzstan that was renamed to Astana. And we are also talking about the term period for the president that was earlier five years was extended to seven years of Kazakhstan. Next, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh has retained the first rank in Scotch State of Governance ranking for the year twenty twenty one. India's first virtual smart grid knowledge center was inaugurated in Manesar, Haryana. I then remember recently in IMT Kharkhoda also, Maruti will be setting up their plant for electric vehicles, and this will be one of the largest plant in India. That is in at IMT Kharkhoda, and IMT Kharkhoda is in Haryana. Then next remember recently cabinet has given the approval. for setting up of global center for traditional medicines that is at jamnagar jamnagar gujarat and this will be set up with the help of world health organization then if we talk about surat here first steel slag rod was set up on trial basis and then remember later on it was bro that developed the first steel slag rod in arunachal pradesh then if we come to pondic puducherry remember puducherry has launched the first of its kind digital school health program not just this they also released the uh, observe the first ever first ever a uh, beach festival that was i c pondi next indian railways uh, indian railways first gati shakti cargo terminal it was commissioned in asansol division of eastern railways i repeat indian railways first gati shakti cargo terminal was commissioned in asansol division of indian railways then if we talk about tamil nadu petro product it became the world's first lab manufacturing company to receive the bis certification i repeat tamil nadu petro products became the world's first lab manufacturing company to receive bis certification and if we talk about tamil nadu here 44th edition of the fight chess olympiad was held in tamil nadu only remember in chennai that to in chennai of tamil nadu the first street ambulance for street or first ambulance for street animals was also launched all right these are some important current affairs not just this friends apart from this remember a very recent news of tamil nadu only that new schools around 26 model schools based on the delhi government model for government schools were launched in tamil nadu and they were launched by mk stalin who is the chief minister of tamil nadu along with the delhi's chief minister arvind kejriwal ji and they he belongs to aam aadmi party and another information to all our students and viewers that remember friends when you are preparing for ibps rrb you need to understand that our content that we provide you on our application you will be seeing various different kinds of pd pdfs that will be very beneficial for you for the preparation of this particular exam the content that is provided by us is up to the mark it is top notch content all right when you will be going through the content not just that content if you are also watching our videos and you are then going for the revision in our careers cloud application then you will realize that the process of learning that you are going through first you are watching the video then you are making notes then after that you are going for attempting the quiz also you are reading the pdf that we are providing so this whole process this whole journey will be very beneficial for you and along with the current affairs along with the questions that we are providing for ibps exams are very beneficial to all the students so i'll highly recommend to go and check this exam pdf that will be very 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 beneficial to all the students and i assure you that the material that is provided there is top notch coming back friends then we are talking about united nation environment program can you first of all tell me where is the headquarter of unep unep's united nation environment programs headquarter is related uh, is located in nairobi kenya if we talk about united nation development program where is the headquarter it is in new york where is the headquarter for unesco it is in paris where is the headquarter of international monetary fund world bank they are both headquarter is in washington dc all right understood come to the news now 
यू एन ई पी यूनाइटेड नेशन इन्वायरमेंटल प्रोग्राम अलोंग विद रीफ वर्ल्ड फाउंडेशन आई रिपीट यू एन ई पी अलोंग विद रीफ वर्ल्ड फाउंडेशन दे बोथ हैव लॉन्च अ ग्लोबल डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज ग्रीन फिंस हब आई रिपीट रिसेंटली ग्रीन फिंस हब वॉज लॉन्च बाय विच टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टूगेदर इट वॉज यूनाइटेड नेशन इन्वायरमेंट प्रोग्राम अलॉन्ग विद रीफ वर्ल्ड फाउंडेशन दैट हैव लॉन्च दिस ग्रीन फिंस हब नाउ यू विल बी आस्किंग सर वॉट इज दिस ग्रीन फिन हब बेसिकली इट विल प्रोवाइड अ मेजर बूस्ट टू द सस्टेनेबल मरीन टूरिज्म आई रिपीट एज यू कैन सी अ डाइवर दैट हैज गॉन इन टू द ओशन देयर दिस इज नोन एज द डाइविंग ही इज जस्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग द मरीन लाइफ ही इज गोइंग फॉर अ वॉक इन द वॉटर यू कैन से ऑल राइट सो इन इन ऑर्डर टू एनकरेज द सस्टेनेबल मरीन टूरिज्म यू एन ई पी दैट इज यूनाइटेड नेशन इन्वायरमेंट प्रोग्राम अलॉन्ग विद रीफ वर्ल्ड फाउंडेशन हैज लॉन्च दिस ग्रीन फिंस हब दिस ग्रीन फिंस हब इज द फर्स्ट एवर ग्लोबल मेरीन टूरिज्म इंडस्ट्री platform important it is expected to scale up to reach a potential of 30000 operators worldwide from about 700 operators across 14 countries so what you need to remember green fin sub what it is it is a sustainable marine tourism that means to create awareness about the marine life that why it is important for us why it will help our ecosystem also why <laughs> why it is helpful for maintaining the ecosystem that we live in so to pro, to create awareness about all these things two organization united nation environment program and reef world foundation have launched this green fins hub that is a sustainable marine tourism if we talk about this green fins hub it is a global digital platform that will help in diving and snorkeling operators worldwide to make simple cost efficient changes to their daily practices by utilizing tried and tested solutions this will also provide assistance to operators to keep track of their annual improvements and communicate with their communities and customers next pay attention friends next we are uh, one more thing can you tell me when was unep established it was established in 1972 we saw that where is the headquarter nairobi kenya who is the executive director here Inger Anderson is the current executive director for United Nation Environment Program. All right, moving on. World's first public database on fossil fuels was Global Registry of Fossil Fuels launched. I repeat, world's first public database on fossil fuels that is Global Registry of Fossil Fuels was launch this is a first of its kind database for tracking the world's fossil fuel production reserves emissions that was named this report was named as global registry of fossil fuels and it was recently launched this data included for over more than 5000 oil gas and coal fields in 89 countries that cover about 75% of the global reserves production and emission that is available for public use this a uh, global registry of fossil fuels or you can say the first database on fossil fuels was developed by whom it was developed by carbon tracker this carbon tracker is a non profit think tank that researches the energy transition effect on financial market along with global energy monitor this data book also or database also provides information about the availability of coal stock globally that means how much amount of coal is available this also provides about the data in which state or in which location in which country we are having what amount of fossil fuel located because we know these this fossil fuel what is the difference between a coal and a renewable source of energy say for example solar energy what is the major difference and what is the reason that we are shifting back to coal again and again irrespective that we are focusing on renewable energy we are focusing on sustainable development the main reason that you need to understand here is that whenever we need extra energy say for example we require a huge amount of energy right now the demand is increasing day by day so can we increase the energy of solar energy day by day is it that reliable this answer is no because if there is say there is no sun for some days so you won't be able to harness the solar energy wind is not blowing in that particular area for a long time say for 3 to 4 days then also you won't be able to harness the wind energy so what will be the resort in that case so you will be shifting to 
coal energy because whenever you are requiring to have an increase in demand in order to fulfill that demand the coal will be sufficient because whenever say for example today we have an increased demand of energy so i'll ask my production team that friend, uh, you should go and increase the production of electricity and use coal for that because we are having coal in surplus what we have to do we just have to burn it be it night or day irrespective of solar energy or wind energy we won't have to be dependent on that particular cost so that is the difference between you need to understand and that is the reason if you are seeing in usa and uk that those has shifted to the coal production because of the low energy or because of the high energy demand and low supply to that moving on next is nokhai festival where do we observe nokhai festival it is observed in the state of odisha here only in odisha first olympic values education program was launched here only remember first tribal health observatory was set up here only remember mo bus festival or mo bus service was started then if we talk about uidai they have topped the grievance redressal index in august 2022 india's first liquefied natural gas fueled green tuck was launched by blue energy motors uttarakhand education department has launched e governance portal by the name smart and bel that is your bharat electronics limited has signed a memorandum of understanding with smith's detection to manufacture scanning systems india's first nep 2020 was compliant law school was launched by institute of integrated learning in management university karnataka government they launched the global startup challenge that was venture rise highly important pay attention to it venture rise next First of all if we are talking about Singapore friends you need to understand two things India's or the country that is investing the highest amount of FDI in India is from Singapore so we can say the highest FDI is coming from which country it is your Singapore so Singapore central bank and India's IFSCA will be pursuing a cross border fintech innovation i repeat a fintech cooperation agreement was inked between the organization that is monetary authority of singapore and the international financial service center authority this will be to facilitate the collaboration and partnership in the fintech technology that means in order to have a cross border fintech innovation that means in order to do research and development in this sector and to come up with new technologies new ways of payments new and secure ways of payment all right under both under this agreement both the entities will utilize their respective regulatory stand boxes to support experimentation of technology innovation and i have told you what is a stand box it is an environment where you go and test your particular technology so as i said these two organization that is your mas monetary authority of singapore and ifsca they both will be collaborating and they will be developing new technologies and they will be experimenting on new technology innovations so that they can come up with a better and secure mode of payments between a cross border that means between two different countries the important point that you need to remember here is that this pact allows both the organization to evaluate the suitability of use cases which will benefit from collaboration across multiple jurisdictions this will also be sharing of non subsidiary or non supervisory related information and developments on innovation in financial products and services next next friend remember we are talking about red bulls driver max verstappen max verstappen has won emilia romagna grand prix he has won italian open all right so here it is also mentioned that formula 1 emilia romagna grand prix 2022 in italy was won by red bulls driver max verstappen if we talk about andre rublev he defeated novak djokovic to win the serbia open title Next Indian grandmaster D Gukesh has won the Mandroka Open Chess tournament in Mandroka Spain. Khelo India Youth Games for 2021 will be held in Haryana. And who topped here? Haryana only topped here. If we talk about Khelo India University Games, who topped here? It was Jain University that topped in the Khelo India University Games. And where was this held? It was held in Karnataka. then india won two gold medals in the archery world cup stage 1 in turkey india finished with 17 medals in the asian wrestling championship of 2022 who won asian cup 
that is related to cricket so who won it it was sri lanka that has won the asian cup by defeating pakistan in the finals and where was this held it was held in united arab emirates next news sbi sbi has joined hands with remitly for secure and easy remittance to india i repeat sbi partnered with which organization remitly to enable the nris that is your non resident indians to send money through sbi via remitly to their family members using mobile and web applications through this partnership nris can now transfer money to 17 remitly nations all right so remember it was your sbi and remitly that is or sbi has partnered with remitly to allow the nris to send money from other countries to india all right if we talk about some of the modes of payment it can be rtgs that is your real time gross settlement it can be neft that is your national electronic fund transfer it can be imps that is your immediate payment services we can use upi for payment unified payment interface so these are some of the ways we can transfer money from one trunk account to another account all right also remember if we are talking about this remitly then apart from upi rtgs imps and neft will be used to credit or to send money from one account to another or from different country to one country all right because upi is not available in all the countries all right friends so coming back if we talk about remitly where is the headquarter it is in seattle washington dc and who will be the co-founder and chief executive officer here matt openhayer all right so it was sbi that has partnered with remitly for secure and easy payment or secure and easy transfer of money that will allow nris to transfer their money from different countries to the indians or to the family who are living in india next sbi we care fd scheme for senior citizens extended till march 31 2023 i repeat state bank of india's we care senior citizens term deposit for senior citizens has extended up to 31st of march 2023 sbi has launched special fd scheme that is sbi we care to secure senior citizens income by paying additional interest on term deposit as we know irrespective of branch also if we are not focusing on this particular news you will be seeing that all the banks provides an increased rate on the fds for senior citizens all right so if we particularly talk about this as we launch this special fd scheme that is special fixed deposit scheme that is sbi we care and it is to secure senior citizens income by paying additional interest on term deposit this scheme is offered for new deposit as well as the renewal of the maturing accounts here the deposit period will be minimum of 5 years and maximum 10 years an additional rate of or additional premium of 30 basis points over and above existing premium of 50 basis point will be provided to here so we can say a total of extra 80 ba uh, base point basic point of interest will be provided to the senior citizen under the scheme that is sbi v care Next we are talking about appointment Gautam Adani briefly named as the second richest person in the wheel we just saw this and who is the richest person here Elon Musk So we can say that recently according to Forbes real time billionaires list Gautam Adani's net worth rose by 5.2 billion dollar a hike of 3.49% Next Senegal president Macky Sall has reinstates the post of pm after a long time all right i repeat the post of prime minister was abolished in april 2019 and now recently senegal president macky sall has reinstated the post of prime minister there all right in may 2022 the senegal prime uh, parliamentarians has approved a constitutional reform that abolished the post of prime minister and now that post of prime minister has been reinstituted in the senegal presidency or in senegal parliament so now they will have their own president or uh, prime minister now all right remember that next can you tell me what is the capital of senegal dakar who is the president macky sall who reinstituted this post of prime minister what is the currency that we use here it is west african cfa next news next we are talking about 
Ontario Pension Fund to buy 30% in Mahindra's renewable. Uh, I repeat, a Canada a Canadian based Ontario Teachers Pension that is OTPP. This board has signed a binding agreement with the Mahindra Group to receive a 30% stake in the Mahindra Group's renewable energy firm Mahindra Sustain Private Limited, and the value of the stake is around 2,371 crore rupees. That is roughly 300 million US dollar. All right, remember this news. Next, we are talking about sports. World Wrestling Championship 2022. Here, Bajrang Punia and Vinesh Pohogat has won the bronze medal for India. This World Wrestling Championship, this was held in Belgrade, Serbia. All right, in this particular, who won the, or uh, which is the state that is leading with the maximum number of medals? It is your United States of America and Bajrang Punia and Vinesh Vogat as you can see them in the picture they have won bronze medals for India so what you need to remember the 30, 17th edition of the World Wrestling Championship or World Wrestling Championship for 2022 this was held in Belgrade Serbia and United States of America leads the table with 15 medals followed by Japan and Turkey and India was ranked at 24th position with two medals both were bronze and they were won by Bajrang Punia and Vinesh Fogart. Bajrang Punia is from Haryana remember and Vinesh Fogart is also from Haryana. Next is Durand Cup. Can you tell me Durand Cup is related to which sport? So remember Durand Cup is related to and highly important you need to remember this is related to football. So Durand Cup 2022 Bangalore FC has beaten Mumbai City Football Club and won the first ever Durand Cup. So which is the first day of the state that has recently won the Durand Cup in 2022? It is your Bangalore Football Club and they have won their first ever Durand Cup by defeating Mumbai City Football Club in the 131st edition of Durand Cup. So in 2022, we can say it was the 131st edition of Durand Cup and it was related to football that was recently held and the state that became the first or the club that became the first time winner of this Durand Cup is your Bangalore Football Club. Moving on. Now we just saw that it was 131st edition of Durand Cup that was held in 2022. Remember the first edition of this was held in 1888. All right, it was held in Shimla. And if we talk about who was sponsor of this 2022 Durand Cup, remember it was your IOC that is your Indian Oil Corporation. Then Palli village became the India's first carbon neutral panchayat. Mumbai got India's first digital bus service with tap in tap out feature. Asia's biggest international food and hospitality fair, Ahar, began in New Delhi. Kerala signed an MOU with Netherlands for Cosmos Malabarishes project to illustrate Kerala's history. Jharkhand's Jantra district became the country's first district with library in every village. Next, we are talking about obutri. Manki Rao Gavidji has recently passed away. He was Congress leader and ex-union minister. He passed away at the age of 7, 87 years in Nasik Maharashtra. He was born on 29th of October in 1934 in Bombay Presidency in Maharashtra only. All right, and he has recently passed away. Remember this. Next, we are talking about a book that was uh, released by Manoj Bajpai ji, Jivesh Nandan's book. All right, so remember Manoj Bajpai has released Jivesh Chandan's Nandan's book, and who is the author here? Jivesh Nandan is the current author and the name of the book is Muskurate Chandilamhe or Kuch Khamushya. This is the name of the book released by Manoj Pai, authored by Jivesh Nandan ji. The, public of the, bush, uh, the publisher of this book is Shobit Arya, the founder and the publisher of Wisdom Tree and Indian Publishing Organization. Next is World Bamboo Day. On 18th of September, we observe World Bamboo Day. Highly important, pay attention. Then, if we talk about first ever this... Bamboo Day was celebrated when it was celebrated in on 8th of September 2008. First edition of this World Bamboo Day was observed. Alright. Also remember bamboo, it is considered as green gold. Do you know a, to grow a whole bamboo tree, it will require around 8 to 10 years for it to mature properly. Then if we talk about World Bamboo Organization, remember Executive Director and CEO is Susan Lucas. It was established in 2005 and headquarters is in 
बेल्जियम नेक्स्ट यूनेस्को वॉज नेम्ड हैज नेम्ड गोल्डा राजा और गोल्ड जरा एज द वर्ल्ड बुक कैपिटल ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू भीम यू पी आई बिकेम ऑपरेशनल एट न्यूपे टर्मिनल्स इन यू ए गोबर्ट रॉबर्ट गोलोब हैज बिन इलेक्टेड एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ स्लोवेनिया इंडिया पार्टिसिपेटेड एज द गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर एट द पेरिस बुक फेस्टिवल ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इन मैक्रोन इलेक्टेड एज द प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ फ्रांस मार्क दिस इंपॉर्टेंट अर्लियर न्यूज बट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर रिविजन नेक्स्ट इज इंटरनेशनल इक्वल पे डे ऑन एटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर वी ऑब्जर्व द इंटरनेशनल इक्वल पे डे एंड इट इज ऑब्जर्व इन एटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एंड रिमेंबर इट वॉज द थर्ड एडिशन ऑफ डे दैट वॉज ऑब्जर्व रिसेंटली नेक्स्ट वर्ल्ड वाटर मॉनिटरिंग डे ऑन एटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर वी ऑब्जर्व दिस वर्ल्ड वाटर मॉनिटरिंग डे नेक्स्ट इज हैदराबाद लिबरेशन डे वेन डू वी ऑब्जर्व दिस ऑन सेवनटीन ऑफ सेप्टेंबर वी ऑब्जर्व द हैदराबाद लिबरेशन डे नेक्स्ट न्यूज रिलेटेड टू स्टेट रिमेंबर चीफ मिनिस्टर और सी एम द हैसी दिस इज द नेम ऑफ द पोर्टल दैट वॉज लॉन्च बाय मणिपुर चीफ मिनिस्टर बीरेंद्र सिंह एंड इट वॉज फॉर एड्रेसल ऑफ पब्लिक ग्रीवेंसिस आई रिपीट रिसेंटली अ पोर्टल फॉर एड्रेसल ऑफ द पब्लिक ग्रीवेंसिस वॉज लॉन्च बाय द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ मणिपुर वॉट इज द नेम इट इज सी एम द हैसी द पोर्टल एनेबल्स पीपल टू क्विकली रेक्टिफाई देर ग्रीवेंसिस एंड अ प्लेटफॉर्म and provides a platform to raise corruption related issues also this web portal or website will further enable the government to bring transparency accountability to the governance then friends now let's quickly revise all the current affairs remember national logistics policy from new delhi was launched by prime minister narendra modi world's first intercontinental carvino uh, carnivore translocation that is eight cheetahs were brought from namibia and were reintroduced in india at kuno national park that is in madhya pradesh Indian Railways to launch Vande Bharat two upgraded versions of the train 18 Kazakhstan renamed their capital to Astana Prime Minister visited Uzbekistan for SCO summit 2022 and you can see all the read all the details in the PDF UNEP and Reef World Foundation launched green fin hubs to encourage the sustainable marine tourism World's first public database on fossil fuel that is global registry of fossil fuels was launched Singapore Central Bank and India's IFSC signed a CA to pursue cross border fintech innovations SBI has partnered with Remitly for secure and easy remittance to India so that foreign NRIs can transfer their money to family in India easily SBI WeCare FD scheme for senior citizens extended till March 31 2023 Gautam Adani briefly named the second richest person in the world Senegal president Macky Sall reinstated the post of PM Next Canadian pension fund OTPP bought 30% stake in Mahindra Arm for 2371 crore rupees World Wrestling Championship 2022 was held and Bajrang Punia and Vinesh won the bronze medal and only two medals were won by India and India stood at 24th position that was topped by USA Budurand Cup that is related to football and remember Bangalore Football Club has won the Durand Cup for the first time Former Union Minister and Congress leader Manki Rao ji has recently passed away. Actor Manoj Bajpayee released Jivesh Nandan's book that is Muskurate Chand Lamhe aur kuch Khamoshiyan. World Bamboo Day on 18th of September, International Equal Pay Day on 18th of September, World Water Monitoring Day on 18th of September. On September 17th we observe Hyderabad Liberation Day. And remember CM the Hesi this was the name of the portal that was recently released by the Chief Minister of Manipur to address public grievances. So friends that's all for the day now it's time for your homework Green Fins Hub the first ever global marine tourism industry platform in associated with which institution tell me important question next roger federer the veteran tennis player represented which country next which state has announced india's first breakfast scheme for government students schools very important next which institution organized the angan 2022 conference fifth pradhan mantri bharatiya jan aushadhi parijojana is associated with which union ministry so these are your five homework question friends no cheating while commenting below and friends if you find the session interesting all you have to do is comment below and let us know what are your views on such sessions if you find them interesting then only we will be proceeding with such session so that's all for the day thank you and have a nice day that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the YouTube channel as well as apart from YouTube channel you can go and follow us at Affairs Cloud Telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the 
of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 7677333862 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue